In today's video, we're going to be using Python code to make ourselves the flag of Norway. So as you can see here, it's a fairly complex looking one. We've got a red background, and then we've got two crosses over the top of that, a white one and then a skinnier blue one. And those crosses are simply made up of rectangles. To get started today, we're going to head over to our Python editor. I'm using Mu, and I'm going to make a new file. As always, we're going to start with the usual line of from turtle import star which imports all the functions from the turtle module first function we're going to call up from that module is the speed module we're going to set that to zero which means we're going to be drawing this flag at the quickest speed possible the setup of the page is the next function we're calling and it's going to be 800 pixels width by 500 pixels height and the next one is the bg color which stands for the background color we want to set that to red Okay, so that's got our background looking good. If we just give this a save, I'm just going to call this um, Norway flag. Oops. Saving over one that already exists. If we give that a quick run, you'll see that we've got our red background in. Our little black symbol in the middle there is actually our turtle that's drawing everything for us. So his current position is the coordinates 0, 0, right in the center of the page. So what we want to do is actually move that turtle into its starting position. And that's for the white cross. So I'm going to put a comment here that says white cross. I'm going to start with a thicker white cross. And we're going to start by lifting the pen up off the page and moving into the start position, like I just said, which is minus 400. So way over to the left of the page. And minus 50. Okay, so we're just going up a little bit there. And we'll put our pen back down once we're in position, ready for drawing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is change our color to white. And then we're going to turn our fill on. So the shape that we draw will have a fill color. And we do that by calling up the begin fill function. And then we're going to start drawing our shape. So we're going to move forward 800 pixels. That's moving across the page. And then we'll turn left at 90 degrees. And we're going to go forward 100 pixels. That's just going down the, uh, sorry, up the page. Uh, once we have gone 100 pixels up, we're going to turn left again, 90 degrees, and go forward 800. And that should be enough to close off our first rectangle. So you can end the fill at that point by using the end fill function. So this code here is drawing the first horizontal part of our white cross. I'll just save it and run it to show you what I mean. So there it is running straight through in the middle of the page. What we need to do now is do the vertical part of that cross. So similar-ish kind of code. We will just have to um let me zoom out a bit here. We will just have to move into position first of all though. So I'm going to put in a comment that just says move to next position. And from here we're just going to lift our pen up off the page again. And we're going to go to a new set of coordinates, which is a minus 100 the x value and minus 250 for the y value. Once there we can put our pen back down whoops, on the page ready for drawing. So let's do this um, next section. We'll turn the fill back on so the shape we're about to draw will be filled in with a, the color white. It's still set to the color white. And we're going to go forward 100 pixels to start with. We'll chuck a right turn at 90 degrees and then go forward 500 pixels. We'll then turn right 90 degrees again and go forward 100 pixels before we end our fill up, our fill off. Okay, so that should be all we need to do for our white cross. Let's um, save it and run it and have a look. Yeah, beauty, that's looking very good. So all we're left to do now is draw a blue cross, which is a bit skinnier, and it will go exactly on top of that white cross. So let's just make a bit of room down lower here. It's pretty similar code, um, it's just a skinny across. So let's um, put in a comment first of all, we'll just say blue cross. Before we start drawing the blue cross, we do need to move into position. So let's lift our pen up off the page and put in our new coordinates, which is minus 400 and minus 25 this time. We can put our pen back down on the page once we're in position. And we can start drawing now. So let's set our color to, I'm going to go with a midnight blue. Lots of different shades of blue in Python, so let's have a go at this midnight blue one. We'll then turn our fill on by calling up the begin fill function, and we're going to move forward 800 pixels, 
we'll chuck a left turn at 90 degrees and then go forward a total of 50 pixels this time. We'll go left 90 degrees again and forward 800 one more time before ending our fill off. Uh, once we've done that, just save it and run it to make sure you've got the first blue rectangle in, which we do, looking good. So just got one more vertical blue rectangle left to draw. So let me just scroll down here and we'll put in a comment that says move to next position. And what we're going to do is just take our pen up off the page. We'll go to the new coordinates of minus 125 and minus 250. We'll put our pen back down on the page. And from here, let's just begin our fill. So we've already got the color set. That's why we don't need to set midnight blue again. We'll begin our fill and we're going to move forward 50 pixels. Chuck a right turn at 90 degrees. We'll go forward again, this time 500 pixels. So the whole length of the page. Turn right 90 degrees and go forward 50 pixels one more time. Once we've done that, we'll just end our fill off. And to finish off with, just call up the hide turtle function so we don't see that little icon um, that draws our shapes. You can save and run that code. And there you have it. You've got the flag for Norway all drawn.